From Tampa Bay Screening News Leader, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. A warm weekend before a cold front. Hello, I'm Isabel Rosales. Jason has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are ABC Action News Now headlines. Workers and patients scrambling tonight after Tampa's Laser Spine Institute abruptly shuts its doors on Friday. This left hundreds without jobs nationwide, including an estimated 500 here in Tampa. This also came as a surprise to patients, with some traveling for procedures that are no longer happening. Employers are supposed to contact the Florida Department of Economic Opportunity if there are going to be layoff if they're going to lay off employees. That is a state law. We confirmed last night Laser Spine Institute did not do that. Detectives are looking for the person responsible for a deadly hit and run crash happened along South Miller Road. Deputies are searching for a white sedan last seen driving along Oakland Road. They believe the driver may have information regarding the crash. A pedestrian was hit and killed while the person left the scene around 3 a.m. If you know anything, call the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. A search for a hit and run driver. State troopers found the minivan involved in this horrific crash caught on camera in Sarasota. Authorities impounded that 2003 Kia Sorento seen grazing the oncoming car, causing it to flip multiple times. The driver stops for a couple of seconds and then takes off. Jackson Kelly is still sedated in the hospital. No word on any leads pointing to the driver. And in other news, another crash involving a Tesla now under investigation in Florida. And it's less than a week since the last deadly crash. This most recent crash in Delray Beach, where the car ran into a semi trailer. Reports say they are looking into the autopilot system and whether it had anything to do with it. This will go along with other investigations nationwide into Tesla crashes. Now here's Jason with your forecast. We'll be watching for some scattered dense fog to start your Sunday morning. Visibilities could be as low as a quarter of a mile, so be sure to check in with us on Good Morning Tampa Bay. Shea will be in and she'll let you know what the visibilities look like. Now after we get rid of the fog in the morning, we're going to see very warm conditions again. Mid 80s east of I-75, upper 70s and low 80s I-75 to the beaches with mostly sunny skies and dry conditions too. Now that changes Monday. That's when our next cold front arrives. It will bring a chance for showers Monday and much cooler air behind it with 40 showing up for overnight lows by Wednesday morning. Jason, thank you, and don't forget you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And remember to download our free ABC Action News app. Take care. Visibility while driving at night can be challenging for drivers, and their failure to see pedestrians is often fatal. In Florida, 75% of pedestrian fatalities occur at night. Many drivers say they never saw the pedestrian. What will it take to see them? Can you see him now? Drivers, look for pedestrians, especially at night. Pedestrians, make sure you are visible. Alert tonight, alive tomorrow. Because safety doesn't happen by accident.